In this Python tutorial, we will create a desktop application with a menu bar element using the PY Simple GUI library. There are three menus in the application. There are sub objects in each menu. A selected menu is displayed in a text object. There are two multi line objects. I enter text into the first multi line object. When the copy and pass menu objects are pressed, the entered text is copied to the second multi-line object. I will show you step by step how to do the application. To support us, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. I created an empty desktop window. Now let's start adding menu objects one by one. I create a variable for the list. I am sending the file value to the list. The sublist represents the members of the file menu object. The file menu object will have new, open, save and exit members. I create the menu function in the layout list. I send the list I created to the menu function. I added the first menu object to the desktop window. I will add the other menu object. I am sending the edit value to the list. The members of the edit menu object will be cut, copy, paste and undo. I added the edit menu object to the desktop window. Finally, I add the help menu. There will be a about member in the help menu object. I added three menu objects to the desktop window. I add the multi line object to the layout list. I send the default value of the object and the expand values for the position setting to the list. I added the multi line object to the desktop window. I add another multi line object. I can copy and paste. I added both multi line objects to the desktop window. When menu objects are clicked, I will show which menu was clicked in the text object. To do this, I create a text object. I sent the expand and font values to the function. I added the text object to the desktop window. I need to access objects. I can access objects if I define a key. I define separate keys for text and multi line objects. If the event value is not when closed, that is, the window is not closed, I will update the text object using key. I am sending the text to the update function. If the copy menu object is clicked, I save the input value to a variable with get.
If the paste menu object is clicked, I change the text of the second multi-line object using the update function. Let's test it. The program did not work. Because I wrote the key code in capital letters. I should have written it in lower case. I'm editing. Let's test it. Which menu object I clicked on is shown in the text object. But it's not exactly what I wanted. I'll add a space. Now it works as I want. The menu object I clicked is shown in the text object. I enter text into the first multi-line object. I click on the copy and paste menu objects one by one. The text is copied to the second multi-line object. In this video, we learned how to use menu bar objects. To support us, do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.